Have you ever wondered how the Sphinx, this colossal statue that has stood the test of time, came into being? Let's embark on a fascinating journey back in time to the reign of Pharaoh Khafre during Egypt's fourth dynasty, where the story of the Sphinx begins. The Sphinx, this grand monument, is deeply intertwined with the reign of Pharaoh Khafre, who ruled around 26 centuries before Christ. This pharaoh's tenure saw the construction of some of Egypt's most iconic landmarks, including the second largest pyramid of Giza. It was during this period that the Sphinx, carved out of a single mammoth piece of limestone, was born. The Sphinx is not merely a statue, but a symbol of the fusion of two potent beings, a lion and a man. The lion, a creature of majestic strength and dominance in the animal kingdom, symbolizes the pharaoh's might and power. The human head is a direct representation of the pharaoh himself, embodying his intellect and wisdom. Together they form an awe-inspiring symbol of the pharaoh's authority and intelligence, a true embodiment of his divine right to rule. But why a lion and a man? Well, this combination wasn't chosen at random. In ancient Egypt, the lion was revered as the king of beasts, a symbol of royal authority. The human head, in the likeness of the pharaoh was a way to humanize this authority, making the pharaoh more approachable to his subjects. This blend of man and beast was a powerful symbol, conveying the pharaoh's dual role as a strong ruler and a wise leader. So the Sphinx, a remarkable fusion of man and beast, was born out of the vision of a pharaoh, a testament to the grandeur of ancient Egypt, this magnificent monument standing tall and proud is a silent witness to the power, wisdom and artistic brilliance of an era long past, yet its legacy continues to captivate us even today. It is truly a marvel of the ancient world, a mystery that continues to unravel and fascinate us as we delve deeper into the secrets of the Sphinx. But why did the Egyptians build this gigantic creature? What was its purpose? For centuries, these questions have intrigued historians and archaeologists alike. Theories about the Sphinx's purpose are as diverse as they are fascinating. Some suggest it was a divine guardian watching over the sacred Giza plateau. Its imposing form, part lion, part human, symbolized both the physical strength of a lion and the intellectual prowess of a man, making it an ideal sentinel. Others propose that the Sphinx served as a celestial marker. Its alignment with the rising sun during the spring and autumn equinoxes suggests it may have played a significant role in ancient Egyptian astronomy. As for its symbolism, the Sphinx was a potent icon in ancient Egyptian culture. It was seen as a representation of royal power and divine wisdom, a tangible testament to the godlike status of the pharaohs. Its lion's body symbolized the strength and courage of the king, while its human head stood for the intelligence and wisdom of the gods. Despite the multitude of theories, one thing remains certain. The Sphinx was much more than a mere statue to the ancient Egyptians. It was a symbol of their beliefs, their culture, and their awe-inspiring reverence for the mysteries of the universe. Despite different theories, one thing is certain. The Sphinx was much more than a mere statue to the ancient Egyptians. Imagine, in an era without modern machinery, how did the Egyptians construct this colossal statue? The Great Sphinx of Giza, a monumental marvel, was not built overnight, nor was it the work of alien hands as some far-fetched theories might suggest. Instead, it stands as a testament to the ingenuity and perseverance of the ancient Egyptians. The technique used to carve the Sphinx was simple yet effective. Using basic tools such as hammers, chisels and wedges, the Egyptians painstakingly chipped away at the limestone, shaping it into the iconic creature we see today. These tools, though modest by today's standards, were the height of technology in their time. The material of choice for the Sphinx was a local limestone abundant in the Giza Plateau. The limestone was soft enough to be shaped with relative ease, yet sturdy enough to withstand the test of time. The stone was likely quarried on site, with huge blocks being carved out and then detailed into the final form of the Sphinx. The creation of the Sphinx was likely a labor-intensive process requiring the steady hands and unwavering dedication of countless workers. Despite the arduous task, these workers managed to create a monument that has captivated the world for millennia. Even today, the construction of the Sphinx remains a marvel of human determination and skill. The Sphinx, a silent sentinel standing guard over the pyramids of Giza, continues to keep its secrets, leaving us in awe of the capabilities of our ancestors. How old is the Sphinx? It's a question that has puzzled historians for centuries. The Great Sphinx of Giza, 
that colossal statue with the body of a lion and the head of a man has indeed been the subject of heated debate when it comes to its age and date of construction. Traditionally, the Sphinx is attributed to the reign of Pharaoh Khafre around 2600 BC. This theory is based on the Sphinx's close proximity to the Pyramid of Khafre and some similarities in construction style. But this is far from the whole story. There are alternative theories that suggest the Sphinx could be much older. These are primarily based on geological evidence and interpretations of ancient records. Some geologists argue that the weathering patterns on the Sphinx suggest it was shaped by rainfall, which would date it back to a wetter climate, possibly as far back as 10,000 BC. Additionally, certain ancient texts refer to the Sphinx as an already ancient monument during the time of Khafre, challenging the traditional dating. However, these theories are controversial and not widely accepted in mainstream archaeology. Whether built by Khafre or an earlier civilization, the Sphinx's age adds to its aura of mystery. Its enigmatic smile seems to hide a thousand secrets, and its true age might just be one of them. But no matter how old it really is, the Great Sphinx of Giza continues to captivate us with its grandeur and the mysteries it holds. Who can forget the famous riddle of the Sphinx, a riddle that continues to intrigue us? The Sphinx, in Greek mythology, was known for its riddle, a mental challenge presented to every traveller crossing its path. This riddle was no ordinary question, it was a test of wit and wisdom. The traveller's fate hinged on the correct answer. If they succeeded, they were allowed to pass. If they failed, well, let's just say the outcome was less than favourable. This tale encapsulates the Sphinx's role as a guardian of knowledge and wisdom, a gatekeeper to the mysteries of the universe. The riddle itself speaks volumes about the Sphinx's symbolism. It asked, what walks on four legs in the morning, two legs at noon and three legs in the evening? This riddle, while simple on the surface, is profoundly symbolic, representing the stages of a human's life journey. In essence, the Sphinx, through its riddle, is a symbol of our quest for understanding and wisdom. It challenges us to look beyond the obvious, to delve deeper and to seek the hidden truths of life. The Sphinx, with its riddle and imposing presence, continues to be a symbol of enigma and wisdom. It stands as a timeless testament to our enduring fascination with the unknown and our relentless pursuit of knowledge.